And there is one important point I like to make. Many of these artists globally that are involved with the movement, they really haven't had the opportunity to have a traditional education. And so they're, they're self-taught. You have people on the outskirts of uh, Soviet Union, uh, throughout uh, Northern Canada, Greenland, living in all these remote areas throughout the world that are marginalized geographically and uh, also economically, and they haven't had the opportunity to attend a traditional school, whether it be an art school or something along the lines of general education. So what's happened because of the uh, internet, along with this movement democratizing the way education is taking place, we now have these, these artists investing in uh, DVDs going to particular podcasts and websites to look into the, the processes of different artists and understand what artists are all about. And th through this daily process, they, they gradually become acclimated and learn about the whole tradition of art and learn how to paint, draw, learn a little bit about art history. So we have this, uh, it's really neat to see these people taking charge over their educations and learning something about the field of